Okay. Yeah. So, uh, my boyfriend at the time had gotten into... Oh, wait, let's go. So, you were 17. Oh, I was 17. I literally graduated from high school a week before. Um, and he had gotten into uh, an Olympic speed skating program at University of Michigan. Um, and they asked him to come early to start training. Accident and then you were paired, you everything was fused and you were paired, you were quad. That's where you were at. Um, so, so what does it mean to be a quad? Like, it your... means that um, more than three limbs are affected. But I meant, like, um, what is your situation like? Like, some people have muscle that you know, because quad, you I think people think that you're paralyzed completely, oh, like, but yeah. you can use different. Um, I pretty much, uh, my only struggle is in my hands and, um, well, my legs. Um, but <laughs> just like a month ago, I was able to, um, extend both legs on, um, I mean, I get a lot of spasms, but this was like voluntary movement. Um, like one leg at a time, uh, just sitting on the table, just like straightening them out. So that was really cool. Yeah. Um, but so you can't do that now. Oh, I can. Yeah. That was about. I mean, it took seven years for that to happen. Yeah. So, um, the first two years were really um, rough. Uh, I had a an amazing um, support system. And we ended up having to stay in Michigan for a while, and then when I came home, even bigger support system. Um, I have three older brothers. Um, I just gotten out of high school, so like he still had that high school group around. Nobody had gone off to college yet, so um, so I think that's what kept me not to be like kind of upset and have I didn't really have time to like think like oh god like what is this and why did this happen to me or like any of that stuff and I explain it like this in the fault in our stars there's this line that she says that um she had had kind of uh 
cancer her whole life and everything and and she would always say something less than 10 as her pain level mm -hmm. and um, they would always say oh my gosh you're so strong you're so brave and she explains that she was saving her 10 for that moment and I now explain it as my dad losing my dad was that moment of 10 mm -hmm. so that was the worst pain I've ever felt so this was kind of like eh. yeah and I'd already had such a great support system around me and everything at that point so you were 16 when you lost your dad um, I was I was 17 and, and it was, what happened um, it was just sudden he had a massive heart attack yeah um, and then it's just kind of like he's just gone and you have yeah. to find a way to accept that yeah yeah uh, yeah that and was that was six months before your accident eight yeah eight. and then um, yeah so that was that was hard and everybody wants to help, and it, it's hard to accept it. And um, uh, all three of my brothers were in college at that point. After your accident, or when your dad passed? When away? my dad passed away, um, I was still in high school, so I had the support of my high school. Um, but it was. <laughs> It was definitely, they were all still there for me, even when my accident happened. Now, and you were still in high school when your accident happened? Or the month after high school? It was uh, literally like to the day, a week after graduation. Wow. Um, so, yeah, and, and trying to, it took, it took years for me to um, realize too that, uh, it doesn't just affect you, it affects your family and those who love you and um, so in a way I kind of think it was, I'm very um, spiritual now and I, I think I was somewhat then, uh, that it was kind of God's way of getting our minds off of my dad and everything and giving my mom something more to do mm -hmm. and I would have gone and stayed at college and even though it was down the street she still wanted me to live on campus and um, I I always said to her I couldn't imagine like leaving I hadn't ever that was that you could need help the day that I left to go drive with him was the first night that I was going to be away from her. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I didn't sleep at, over anybody's house anymore, like, it, it just, I, I would wake up in the middle of the night, I would check on her, um, yeah, so, uh, that's amazing, but, yeah, I, were you a, did you, ha and you had how many brothers? I have three older brothers. But they were in college. Yeah, they were in college at the time. Um, they both ended up, or three of them, the three of them ended up moving back home at one point, um, like a couple years ago. And then one moved in and he got married. He moved in with his fiance and then they got married. And then my other brother moved out and with his fiance now and then my one brother is still at home with us but we're pretty sure that that's and you're going to somewhere. school to be an OT right I no, I'm in school I, I didn't, I'm not in school oh I, but you left for college right I still went to college uh -huh. yeah um, uh, a year later um, my mom and actually started back with me because she never finished. That's amazing. Um, so you guys so, still lived at home together and you went to college? Yep. Yeah. Um, what would you go for? I was a math major. Did you graduate? Yep. Nice. Um, and uh, now I work at the college. Uh, 
she was kind of a secretary type person at the college and she moved up to a financial aid advisor um, and then I ended up getting a job as a math tutor and I love tutoring. It like makes me so happy. So, yeah, tutoring. I love coaching. It's like yeah. tutor coach. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, you're coaching. Being a coach, you're not just like coaching, you're teaching. Yeah. And counseling. Counseling. Yeah. Exactly. So, like, yeah. People forget, I think, don't realize how much coaches and teachers and tutors mm -hmm. are, like have an impact mentally you have to do as well mm -hmm. yeah so um so what happened after your accident like were you what happened with your boyfriend so he um he didn't go to college uh he stayed with me he ended up kind of moving in with us when we um came home from Michigan we like had to fly home um and Cause how long were you in the hospital for? Well, I was in Michigan Hospital for a month. Then we came home to um, uh, step down from a hospital, but not rehab yet, um, because I still had a trach in for another month. We were there, and then I got to go to rehab, and I was there for three months and then the, next, the couple years after that I kept getting um, I would get UTIs and then I would go to they would treat them with antibiotics but the antibiotics gave me um, an intestinal virus called C. diff which would cause me to be back in the hospital so then I'm like it was just like a revolving Mm -hmm. thing for a while until we got it all under control. Um, so it was it was a while. Um, he, he and I stayed together for about a year. Um, we got to like our one year anniversary and uh, my mom got a little suspicious mm. one day and um, he had been like a little distant. He was living with us though, which was kind of weird. Um, and she, he was in the shower one day, left his phone down in the basement and she went and Go mom. And found some not so wonderful text messages with other women. So um, she didn't actually tell me because she kind of wanted me to find out myself and didn't know how to. But my brother and his girlfriend um, took me out to lunch one day and ended up telling me at lunch um, at Panera. <laughs> But okay, so so your recovery, you said you think that it it was so much easier because losing your dad was the hardest thing you ever felt and it was kind of a distraction. I mean I did get after I think two or three years I had that final like sitting in my room like full on like breakdown. Mm -hmm. Like and that had been like Wait, when was that? Time. Probably like two years. That was the first after. time you had a major breakdown. Like, major like Yeah. You're probably in such like, shock after everything. I mean, yeah, and and people you know, like the people that were there at the beginning, they go back to their lives mm -hmm. and then you're kinda of just like, Oh, well this is still my life and mm -hmm. but um I still do therapy. I try and work out and keep myself busy. So you had your breakdown. What was your breakdown about? Uh, like a combination of everything. Um, frustrated with not being able to do stuff because like I was 17 so prop, like just had had my license. Was getting that independence from my parents and you know and then all of that's taken away and you're like back to you're getting taken care of all the time mm -hmm. so I've now learned 
um, how to cope with it. I mean, but I still have those days where you're like, oh my goodness. Yeah, and you want to scream. And have you dated since? And um, I have, but I don't think I was ever. I don't think I would say that I was ready at those times that I was dating. Um, and the one person I had known previously and I think that's hard for somebody to look at you and they think that oh like you're still that person but you aren't you're really you're a changed person like yes I still have some of my qualities but I was I I mean you just yeah you do mm-hmm. something changes in you yeah and yeah I mean so would you say you're happy? Yeah. 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 Do you think Finally. your life is fulfilling? Oh, and yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would love at some point to have somebody, and I and it it's upsetting when you're around like all my brothers and their significant others, and then there's like me. You think dating is hard because of being in a wheelchair, or it's just you haven't met the right person? both. Um, I get really embarrassed of like the use of my hands. Um, which um, kind of really I, it's a struggle. So I think that's why I dated some of the people that I dated because they kind of, I would say, safe. Like, they treated me oh, fine. Like, they didn't, like, really look at me that way. Um, but I definitely don't think I was I was ready. And then it's just, like, my life is just, like, so busy at points that I'm just, like, trying to, I can't even see my friends enough, like, Mm -hmm. let alone, like, throw a relationship in Mm -hmm. there, um, but yeah, when you're around people that have other people, 